タブトトーンで。よし。Okay, hello everyone. Thank you for、uh, being here.、Uh, my name is Julian. I work as a freelance marketer,、um, specifically for Web3, crypto, Ethereum projects.、Uh, I want to thank the organizer for giving me the opportunity to speak to you guys, and thank you for、uh, being here.、Hmm. Okay, so in this talk, I will talk about、uh, marketing and communications,、um, specifically for、uh, crypto and Web3, Web3 projects. So, we,、um, if we want to amplify the Web3 as a movement, we first maybe want to sort of define it. Like, what do we call Web3、um, as a movement?、Uh, then I'll talk about co、um, communications in general and my like, overall approach to,、uh, to marketing. Uh, then I'll present what's been done so far on my side and、uh, the projects、uh, I'm working on. So I'm going to、uh, go through two、uh, definitions of Web3. So the first, the first one is、uh, this is、uh, Gavin Wood's definition of Web3. This, he's,、uh, he's one of the initiator of, and co founder of、uh, Ethereum and currently CEO of,、uh, of Parity Technologies. So, his definition, I'm just going to read it. Web 3.0 is an inclusive set of protocols to provide building blocks for application makers. These building blocks present a whole new way of creating applications. This technology gives the user strong and verifiable guarantees about the information they are giving away, what they are paying, and what they are receiving in return. So, that's Gavin's、uh, definition for this uh, uh, Web 3.、Um, And we're going to see、uh, Juan Bennett's definition. So, Juan Bennett is the、uh, CEO and initiator of uh, uh, the IPFS project. And his,、uh, his definition of uh, uh, the Web3 as a movement. So, Web3.0 is a broad movement of associated technologies aiming to make the web and the internet more decentralized. Verifiable and secure. So, the goals of Web 3.0 include trustless infrastructure, removing intermediaries, giving users powers and ownership of other data, identity, security, and transactions.、Um, and so, from my point of view, I mean, I'm not,、uh, I'm not an engineer, I'm not a developer,、um, say, just a marketer. Okay.、Uh, well, that's already seven years of experience、uh, on that. And,、um, and so for me, it's like、um, basically, like how do we, how do we uh, move, uh, move forward and, and sort of、um, push for adoption from Web 2 to Web 3、uh, technologies, basically. And so, as a humble marketer, like what can, what could I do uh, to, uh, to help on that? So, <clears throat> here's a few things, few things I, I've done in the, in the recent、uh, months.、Um, so, what we can do as marketers is basically ed edit guides and tutorials and also help on the translation uh, side. Uh, so, I've been editing a tutorial that's called、uh, My Stupid Token, like how to deploy your own ERC20 and why. So, I know this can sound like、uh, maybe. <laughs> Three years late, somehow, but I think it's very important for people, especially for people outside of the community, to really understand what's, uh, uh, what's say, behind and to experiment uh, themselves um, these things. Because we, you know, we, we're talking about like,、uh, a lot of、um, pretty trendy DeFi, decentralized finance projects, etc. And I think the ERC20 is one of the building blocks of uh, uh, this um, uh, trend, let's say.、Um, so the tutorial is、uh, available, by the way.、Uh, and I also add, added this,、uh, this why,、uh, because, um, and, and, and、uh, you know, Because it's, it's so easy to do. Like, today it's so easy to do. I mean, you know, this,、um, uh, the, the original, one of the original p r o m i s e of Ethereum was to、um, allow people to create their own currency in, I think it was 40 or 50 lines of, lines of code. And today we have, we have 
just this, say, about 10 lines of code, thanks to uh, Open Zeppelin, uh, for deploying like very easily your own uh, currency or asset or token. Um, I will, I will <clears throat> work on this uh, little project. Uh, it's an ERC20 vending machine. So if you want to work on that too, uh, just uh, reach out. Um, and I will also, uh, I will also work on a, on a tutorial on how to deploy a website with IPFS and ENS. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Um, uh, so we, we, we're talking about dog fooding here. We, I think it's important to use our own uh, tools. <clears throat> and, so, and so I've been trying, although I'm not a developer, I've been trying to deploy uh, a website, uh, a static website, on uh, using these tools. So you have Jekyll and Hugo. These are uh, SSG, um, so uh, static site generators. Um, so just to uh, make um, very simple static websites or blogs and personal websites, and and then deploy with IPF with both IPFS and uh, ENS. Um, the advantage being that it's not uh, censorable, uh, and uh, they're uh, so um, decentralized, and um, and you basically you basically can. Uh, you know, you have all the control over uh, this uh, this uh, uh, data that you make available for everyone. Um, I just wanted to know, to tell you that there is Almonit, which is a decentralized website search engine. Um, so I encourage you to have a look at that. Um, and uh, it is interesting. You have .eth domains that um, Opera browser and Status browser already support. And uh, I think Brave also announced that uh, they, uh, they will support this um, .eth domains. Um, and, so, and so you can do that for uh, blogs, personal websites, and also probably uh, e-commerce. Um, uh, again, I think uh, again, I think it's important to simply experiment uh, these things. I'm not saying that everyone should uh, have their website uh, this way, but um, yeah, it's important to experiment. And also, I want to I want to mention that I sort of rediscovered this uh, this you know static website thing because I think I think uh, today like this uh, th these websites um, are pretty like energy consuming and most of times is it is not useful uh, so we there's I sort of see here a way to also sort of uh, save some energy and that's uh, that can be that can make sense um, so um, I'm gonna okay so some some basic advices on, on marketing that uh, for uh, crypto projects uh, so when marketing, when marketing, that's a question that we hear sometimes on the networks. Um, most of the time coming from uh, token holders that, you know, want the token and want the, 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 the price of the token to go up uh, as soon as possible. That's what they want. So they just um, uh, show up in the discussion channel and, and, and just ask, like, when marketing in a pretty aggressive way. Um, so that's pretty common in the crypto space, and uh, and I, uh, and so and so here's like two things maybe we should not do. Like sometimes we have like um, developers and engineers um, that things that uh, that thing that uh, we should shout as loud as we can. And I think this is not a thing to. Uh, this is not a thing to do, in my opinion. Um, also, you shouldn't be <clears throat> uh, so shielding your token. Meaning that um, I think it's important to have, if you have a token in your project. Uh, by the way, in uh, maybe most of project, this uh, the, the 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 product itself would even like work better without a token. So. It, you know, you really have to think like, do, do you really need uh, a, a, a token? But 
if you have one, I mean, it's important to just uh, for this uh, asset to be available on uh, several exchanges. I think uh, I think it's you know ERC twenties are super easy to integrate uh, on uh, on your exchange. So uh, so I find it a, a bit a bit weird this uh, this uh, this. Um, um, uh, this kind of aggressive approach, like to pay exchanges to, you know, to and to make the token available. That's a that's a strange, kind of a strange uh, um, approach to me. Uh, uh, but here's my sort of top five uh, advices uh, for uh, Web three projects. So, um, in my opinion, uh, we should first show uh, the benefits. Uh, of of uh, of the product, uh, this is this is pretty important because uh, when we talk about adoption um, and specifically adoption of what I call real apps, uh, so real apps are, in my opinion, apps that actually um, make a change in people's life, uh, and so and so showing the benefits. Uh, of a product is uh, something that we can uh, work on. Uh, we can get uh, pushy and noisy at product releases uh, because product releases are a pretty important moments uh, in a project life. Um, I think we should be responsive with our first users. This is also very uh, uh, very important uh, because these um, these people and testers uh, take um, uh, take some uh, time to um, to try what you've been uh, building, and so uh, they, so they, they should get a quick response. And I know this is uh, um, uh, not, not very original, but uh, but this is important uh, when you consider like a overall. Marketing strategy. Um, also, it's important to uh, update your targets as the product evolves. So I don't, really, I don't really like the word uh, target, but in marketing, that's uh, you know uh, we have to name, um, and and that sort of uh, represent like the people we're talking with, we're talking to. Um, um, <clears throat> And also reward the most uh, active community members. So I'll get back to that a bit later. Um, but this is uh, this is really important, like to sort of calibrate and frame these uh, contributions. Uh, I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about three uh, three projects I've been I've been uh, working on and contributing to uh, recently. So the first one of them is a project I love. It's called it's called Archipel. Uh, it means archipelagos, and it's a very smart combination of uh, two technologies. Um, so, combination of DAP node and Substrate, and they provide uh, high availability availability for uh, for staking. So, I strongly encourage you to simply check at the uh, technical description of the project uh, on archipel.id. Uh, and this is me. This is a upcoming some upcoming video of me unboxing uh, this uh, DAP node. Um, the, the the sort of uh, motto of DAP node is that is that we we, uh, we shouldn't be building uh, castles on sand. Um, so we want to, uh, you know, be. Um, uh, you know, just serve uh, serve ourselves and and uh, mm, yeah. So that's a project I've been contributing to. Uh, Clairos have been contributing in uh, the past few weeks to their second sale. They raised um, they raised a, a fair amount of uh, of ETH in two weeks. Uh, they had a very successful storytelling bounties. So we said before that uh, we should we should um, show what's working right now, but also tell about what's coming in the future. And that you can you can you really can sort of engage uh, your community uh, to do that. Um, and Cleros did it in a in a very uh, very smart way, uh, very successful way as well. So 
encouraging people to uh, to write uh, posts uh, and uh, and also even even uh, uh, some some memes etc that was that was really really interesting the, the the outcome of this experiment was really uh, interesting also I've been working on on the community building in China that was tricky uh, I used to teach Chinese like before 2013 and so um, and so um, I've been trying to uh, to do some community management on WeChat, WeChat is not really easy to uh, to use, but uh, but we have to use uh, we have to use WeChat because that's where uh, people are. Uh, and by the way, I, I, um, I talked before of um, you know uh, dog fooding and and use our own tools, but in marketing we we also have to be where people are, and they are on Facebook, on Twitter, and uh, obviously on WeChat. Uh, I think building a network of, of ambassadors is uh, is a very interesting approach for uh, community building uh, in China. So this is uh, this is also a work in progress. And recently, I've been contributing to this uh, game uh, that's called Eternal. Uh, it's a multiplayer dungeon crawler generated on the blockchain. So everything is generated on chain. Uh, so that's new. Rooms are generated on chain, and it's inspired by classic text and grid-based uh, MUD, so multi-user dungeons. So you're, as a player, you're um, in this uh, dungeon, and you go uh, from room to room. You battle uh, monsters. You can play with um, with other uh, with other people, uh, and um, and eventually grab some um, assets that you can then trade, that you can then uh, trade. I think that's a, I'm kind of a fan of this, uh, this game. This is a, a snake, uh, and that's a monster that you can uh, encounter in this, uh, in this dun dungeon. Um, so I gave a hand on, on the alpha launch. Uh, that was 70 keys distributed. And uh, uh, two thousand five hundred dungeons gener generated. So that was um, that. I mean, quite a lot. People spend a lot of time in this uh, dungeon, and that's uh, already a very good sign. They're launching. They're preparing for the beta launch in uh, in uh, June, if I'm not mistaken. And on the on the alpha launch, um, the average gameplay was. Uh, superior to uh, to 17 minutes, so people spend actually spend a lot of time uh, on the on the game, and they really provided uh, very uh, valuable feedback. Um, and that was uh, that was very interesting. That was a very interesting experience um, in terms of uh, community building. Um, yep, um, I. I also work on a on a DAO uh, on a DAO for a, a major institutional partner, uh, but we're still sort of studying the relevance of this project, and the collaboration with this uh, specific institutional partner is not um, easy, I would say, because um, because we also have to uh, you know present uh, the technology. And uh, explain what's at stake, etc. And that's uh, really not um, easy. Um, yeah, I loved um, this uh, this conference, especially for 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 the um, we, we had very interesting uh, discussions about um, about uh, marketing for uh, Ethereum. So um, so within this uh, marketing marketing DAO, um, and uh, yeah. We, it's it, there was this, this 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 question like should we should we push projects built on Ethereum or should we uh, simply show what uh, what you can do with uh, with Ethereum? Um, and yes, uh, thank you for uh, for your attention. Thanks. Any question? Yeah. 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 Um. You talked about like about the different ma means of marketing that you used earlier, like when you said WeChat. Like, what what are the KPIs that that you did collect? Did you collect KPIs? Like, how did you know you're successful or not successful? Yeah, that's in, a good question. Across? 
So basically, the number of people joining the discussion channel, that's one uh, metric. And also, is it active? It was very tough. Uh, it was very tough on, uh, to, to get this group uh, active, especially in the, in the, in the beginning. Uh, because you, ha you, you, you know, you want to, um, you, to sort of attract people uh, in this discussion channel and, you know, have them involved. And, uh, and so these two are the, are the metrics that uh, we look at. Um, but I think um, an interesting metric to, 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 to watch would be like how many out of, out of these people joining the discussion channel, uh, how many of them become, uh, in the case of Cleros, become a general uh, or get more active or if they are developers, like how uh, do they like get involved and play around with the with the product itself? So that's that that is also a, a metric we supposed to watch. Does that an answer the the question? Yeah, probably. But also, like I, I guess, like from the Clairos perspective, like what are the KPIs that they were curious about? I mean, in the end, like what what, what was the thing they tried to achieve? And you said like WeChat is that you did not have like a European. Yes. So did you also have a European channel then, or did you not have that, or like? Why did, like, the oh yes, they have they have their own they have their own uh, channel already, uh, um, namely uh, Slack and Telegram, and also uh, several different languages for 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 Telegram. Um, <clears throat> and so their goal is uh, basically adoption. Like they want the the the, the product is here. It's uh, you know usable, and you have also uh, <clears throat> uh, several. Uh, several kinds of uh, you know courts and sub courts uh, and several apps uh, that already integrated uh, with Claros and so they want you know this to grow and also the overall number of jurors to to grow so that's the the metric they they're looking at Other yeah no no Thank you. Thank you.